Hi guys, this is Tekken57 and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to add material roughness textures to older game models which you want to port to 2K18 or 2K19. For today's example, I'm going to be working with Bully Gun. Uh, I'm using his 2K17 model and uh, I'm going to be porting this to 2K19 and I'm going to show you how to add material roughness textures to this model. Alright, so I've already ported the model and I've already added him to the game. Um, I've overwritten Chris Jericho just to show you what the model would look like without me doing any modifications to the way the textures are assigned. Um, if you look at the model running in game, you could see right away that uh, the body looks very shiny. Uh, the attire objects have like a very high gloss to it and uh, it just doesn't look correct okay uh, also with the material roughness textures when you add these to the uh, body meshes you find that the body meshes have a lot more detail and look a lot better in game as well so I'm going to show you how to do this now okay the first thing you will notice is that um, all the uh, normal textures uh, from 2k17 and below all have an alpha channel whereas all the textures from 2K18 upwards do not have an alpha channel. Um, the alpha channel in the normal textures control the level of shine and uh, reflections on the models from 2K17 and below, whereas with 2K18 and 2K19, the material roughness or MR textures are what control the reflections and the shine of uh, the objects. All right, so to, to save some time, I have already prepared a texture archive where I've uh, created all the normal uh, texture maps without alpha and I've also just copied uh, Booker T's material roughness textures just to save some time. Obviously if you are porting a mod you would need to create your own material roughness textures uh, but that's beyond the scope of this tutorial so I won't get into that. So I've created a new texture archive with the material roughness textures. You'll notice that the older games have uh, ambient occlusion maps or AO maps uh, these should, should not be included from 2K18 upwards. These have been replaced with the MR textures. All right, I've created a new uh, texture archive, which I've called 000A, and I've also uh, created a new pack file, including this. Um, I've in injected this into a new uh, CH10402 pack, and I've put this into the game, which is what you've just seen running now. Another thing that I've done is I've duplicated the uh, 0000 Y object file, which is the main wrestler Y object file. And uh, with the main wrestler Y object file, I've removed all the attire by reducing the number of objects. And then I, the, for the duplicate uh, Y object file that I've made of this, I've just left the attire objects in. So basically, it's two of the same Y object. One Y object only has all the wrestler body parts, and the second Y object has the attire parts. Um, I'm going to get into detail as to why I've done this before, but basically I need to assign shader parameters to, uh, to, the, to the attire parts, and the attire parts do not have enough space in the Y object file to assign the required number of, of uh, shader parameters. So I'm going to get into a bit more detail with that a bit later. Okay, so firstly, let's work with the um, main Tesla Y object file. All right, so now. What we need to do here is firstly we need to um, tell the game that it needs to load the material roughness texture that we've created in the texture archive. And then also we need to uh, tell the, the mesh that we are working with to also load uh, the material roughness texture that we are referencing. So this f firstly we need to edit the materials that are in the Y object file. All right, uh, I'm just gonna do the head uh, mesh for this tutorial but the process is the same for all the others. All right, so the way in which uh, the meshes uh, determine which texture to load, um, it's, it's determined by the ID of the texture. So if you look at the ID underscore hex column, you'll notice that there's uh, 000, 0102, et cetera. All right, so I'm gonna be working with the head textures. So the head underscore AO texture is not used in the game anymore. So I'm just going to change this to head underscore MR, which will load our material roughness texture, which we've created in our texture archive, and I'll need save changes. Also, you need to take note of the um, 
ID which is being used in this case two. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the values uh, from here into uh, a notepad so that when I'm assigning the, the shader parameters uh, shortly I'll be able to quickly reference which IDs are assigned to each texture. So I'm going to copy values. Okay, I'm going to just paste this into the notepad so we have reference to this later on without having to constantly open this. All right, so if I hit right click on the object and I select edit shader parameters, you'll notice that uh, there are quite a few different parameters assigned to this object. All right, so if you look at the object, uh, the uh, parameters which are named G underscore M diffuse parameter. So this is the diffuse or your color texture. Uh, you notice the last two digits. So the last two digits are zero, one. So if you look at the IDs that we had uh, for the textures, you'll see that 01 is the head texture. All right. Then you'll see an AO parameter, which is 02, meaning that the AO map was loaded, which is uh, head underscore MR. It was previously head underscore AO. And then thereafter, you look at your normal map, and your normal map is 03. And uh, if you look at your textures again, you'll see that head underscore N is 03. So this is the way this is assigned. All right, now what we need to do is we need to uh, change this G underscore M AO parameter to a parameter which is going to load the uh, material roughness texture. All right, for now for this, I've, I'm just going to copy a parameter directly from one of the 2K19 wrestlers, just to, just to make it easy. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open a second instance of X-Ray and I'm going to open up uh, Booker T's for object file. All right, once this is loaded, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say edit shader parameters. All right, now there's a, t a specific parameter that you need to look for. Usually it is at the bottom of the list. Uh, the parameter is called material roughness map parameter. All right, so I'm going to copy this value and I'm going to go back into Billy Gunn's uh, shader parameters and I'm going to change this MAOPRM. I'm going to change that to material roughness map parameter. All right, so now this will tell the mesh that it needs to load the material roughness parameter which we've created. And in this instance, it's 02, which is head underscore MR. All right, now in order for the game to actually realize that it needs to use material roughness uh, textures, there are three other parameters which you will need to copy. So you will see that underneath the material roughness parameter, there's a G underscore F version opacity type use WDF mod type. All right, you need to copy these parameters as well. Now, because we cannot add parameters to the number of shader parameters already assigned to a mesh, um, we need to override some parameters. Okay, now I've looked at the parameters which are listed, and you can safely overwrite the last four. One, two, three, four. So now we need to copy the last four parameters to Bully Gun's shader parameters. So I'm going to start with the names first. Alright, so we have the four parameters with the values which are assigned to each of the parameters and we've also set a material roughness parameter. I'm going to hit save changes. Alright, and then thereafter I'm going to inject the Y object back into the pack file. Okay, I'm going to copy this back into my game directory. Okay, and now if you look at the head mesh, you'll notice that the head mesh doesn't have any kind of shine to it like the rest of the body, meaning that the material roughness texture has been applied and the extra detail that is in the material roughness texture is now being applied to the head mesh. All right, so I've shown you how to apply a shader parameter to a body part in a wrestler Y object file. Uh, you can apply the same process for the remainder of the body parts. Uh, I'm not gonna do it for the process of this tutorial, just to save time. 
the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, add material roughness textures to the uh, tire objects. So I'm going to open up the second Y object file that I've created with the attire objects. All right, so I think for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just work with one of the knee pads. All right, so let's look at the shader parameters which have been assigned to this knee pad. Okay, you can see that the diffuse parameter is 22, the AO is 23, and the normal map is 24. All right, so we need to change the AO uh, material to a material roughness uh, texture. So I'm just going to hit Edit Materials, and I'm going to look for the ID which was referenced, which was right knee pad underscore AO with an ID of 23. We're going to change this to right knee pad underscore MR, which is corresponding to the MR texture which I've created. All right. I'm also going to copy all these values again so that we have a list of the IDs. Okay, and I'm just going to I'm just going to uh, highlight the textures which we are going to be working with. All right now, we need to assign shader parameters to this knee pad to make it load the material roughness texture. We also need to add the four additional parameters which we added to the head mesh earlier on to make the game realize that it needs to not load material roughness textures. The problem is that you cannot add shader parameters because the game uh, references specific offsets for each parameter and if you add any parameters to the game um, the offsets are going to change. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the shader parameters from one of the body parts in this Y object and we're going to make this knee pad mesh point to those shader parameters so that it loads the material roughness texture and the four additional parameters as well. All right, so the way we're going to do this is as follows. Firstly, I'm just going to increase the number of objects to six so that we have access to one of the uh, body parts in the mesh. All right, so now what we're going to do is we need to determine how many um, parameters we need to assign to this knee pad. So to make this easy, I'm going to open up Booker T's um, object file and I'm going to look for one of his knee pads. All right. Okay, I'm going to right-click this and I'm going to select Edit Parameter Offset. Okay, so the number of parameters assigned to this knee pad is nine. Okay, so I'm going to copy all of the shader parameters from this uh, knee pad, and I'm going to paste it into uh, Billy Gun's knee pad. So what we're going to do is, firstly, is we're going to take the parameter offset from the hand and we're going to assign it to the knee pad. And then thereafter, we're going to assign the number of parameters that is going to be loaded um, based on what we just looked at in Booker T's Y object file. So I'm going to say edit parameter offset. I'm going to copy this value. All right, then I'm going to go into the knee pad. And I'm going to edit parameter offset. And I'm going to paste the value in there. And also, we need to ensure that the number of parameters matches that of Booker T's. Okay, so I'm going to say 9. Okay, so now, Object 2 is loading the shader parameters of Object 5. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention is you must ensure that the uh, object that you're copying the parameters from has, uh, has sufficient parameters to assign to the mesh that you're working with. So we needed 9. And this had 80 parameters assigned to it, so we, we were within range. All right, I'm just going to reduce the number of objects again to 5 because we don't need the hand object to be loaded again. Okay, I'm going to hit save. All right, now to save time, instead of copying each parameter from Booker T's into um, Bully Gun's knee pad, I'm going to copy the shader parameters. So I'm going to say edit shader parameters. I'm going to export the values. I'm just going to call it shader params underscore knee pad. All right, now I'm going to go back into Billy Gun's um, right knee pad. I'm going to right click, let's say edit shader params, and I'm going to say import values. 
All right, and then I'm going to select the shader parameters we export from Booker T's. All right, now it's imported all the values for us. Now, before you hit save, the uh, textures which I assigned are the textures which we assigned on Booker T's wire object file. So the, uh, the material IDs may be different. So what we need to do is we need to ensure that the diffuse, normal map, and material roughness map are pointing to the correct um, IDs. For the diffuse, we're going to look at ID 22. The normal map is 24. And the material roughness map is 23. All right, now that we've set the IDs correctly, this mesh will load the, the materials uh, which we've assigned, 22, 23, and 24. How many save changes? And then I'm going to inject this object back into the game. Before I end this tutorial, I also want to mention that there are certain uh, meshes which load an additional texture uh, if it looks metallic, and uh, the additional texture controls the reflections uh, on the metallic surface. So if you look at Booker T's textures, you have uh, underscore MR and you have an underscore PM texture. All right, if I look at the actual uh, mesh file, you'll see that the, uh, if I look at the actual mesh, you'll see that the parameter count is 10 and not nine meaning that it's loading an additional texture. Um, if I look at the shader parameters, you'll notice that it no loads an additional texture called M Pix Mask. Okay, so if you are creating a text, so if you are creating an, a mesh which has a metallic surface, uh, you will need to add this additional map to your mesh as well. That um, you will have, okay, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope it's been helpful to you and that you are able to add MR textures to older models which are porting to 2K18 and 2K19. Uh, that's it for me. Uh, happy modding. Take care.